Ladies and dudes and everybody else, welcome back to the Beard Bros. Dude, I'm so excited. I love this kind of janky keyboard demo music they got going. Look at this mask. This is me right now trying to parse out what Crash Bandicoot actually is. My name's Brett, that's Alex over there. The reason he sounds so confused, well, there's a lot of reasons, but the main one yeah. is, yeah, he's never really played a Crash Bandicoot game. It's an embarrassing hole in my otherwise perfect video game knowledge. That's right. You are you are perfect and also willing to admit that you're not perfect. Have you ever called have you ever told someone you were a video game expert? Yeah, all the time. That's me. One time somebody said, You're a video you're like a video game expert, right? And I was like, Yeah. You said yes to that? I was like, Man. you know, I I I I wouldn't have said it myself, but I said, Yeah. I said, you know what? And yet, you have this glaring hole in your video game. Uh, here's here's what I know. Base. Here's what I know about Crash Bandicoot. I know that he loves to accost you at the workplace. I know that he likes some kind of fruit. Yeah. I know that there's boxes that explode. Yeah. And one time that I tried to play Crash Bandicoot, I did not enjoy it because oh well, not because I think it's bad, but because I don't think I understood about mm. what you're supposed to do when you're running towards the camera. And things are coming from like just off screen below you. Maybe that was like the year 1996 and you had never like experienced that perspective in a game and you were like too much. Too exactly. Much. Like I just, yeah, I just, for whatever reason, like I wasn't very young when I got a PlayStation 1. You weren't very young? No, I got it like when I was like, like PS2 I think was out when I got a PS1. Oh, so then you have no excuse then. Well, I just, I was already playing No like, excuse then. I was already playing just like slightly, like I'd, I'd moved on to like Sam Fisher. I was playing way better video games. Not even better, just like I was an edgelord child, so I was like, I want to play a game with a guy with an AR-15. Guys, this is Crash Bandicoot 4. I'm on the six to start. Uh, oh, well. And this one's like, what should we say? This one's like recent. I mean, I know I know that like, you know, we could be SBB. You want to do that? But we could also be like, fuck. That's true, we could. Yeah. We could what was fun. your, what was your like arcade? Sorry, is this the like Raiders of the Lost Ark font, by the way? Looks familiar. It looks like DuckTales. Oh, that's true. It, which, which, you know, is basically an Indiana Jones, like fun, fun Deanna Jones. Fun D, fun Deanna Jones. We De call it. Defund Indiana Jones. <laughs> we here at Fox, 20th Century Fox call it fun Deanna Jones because that's what we want the audience to have in the theater. Uh, Huey Dewey Louie. Oh, perfect. Hiddle. My oh. nephews. When oh. you die, you always get even the last checkpoint. It says recommended. They're like, that That version sucks. You have limited lives. What do you think, man? What would you like to do? I'm just thinking about how many pieces of nerves like connect Crash Bandicoot's nose to his brain. Because it just doesn't uh, seem like it could be that many. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to play this. I don't even know what the, like, I don't even know if that's like going to fuck us. I have no idea. Yes. Ted? Get you, it sounds like you want us to do retro. Ted yeah. is like spinning to the side. He's barely talking to the microphone. Get fucked. <laughs> ah, the council Get of fucked. masks. <laughs> I doubt there's anything here we want to mess with. Time trial ghost? Subtitles, maybe? Yeah, we'll turn it off with the people. There it yeah. is. Okay, good. Easy sneezy. All right. Shall we do it? Yeah. Is this game old? Like, I know there's a PS5 version of this. It's not a remake. It's like no, a, no. It's, this is it a came new out game. In like I want to say 2018, 19. Great. Yeah, I'm here for like Crash a fucking colorful Crash. ass, fucking hilarious, stupid ass At game. Last, I, the great Neo Cortex, have you right where I want you. And now the final blow. I bet you the character designer was mad that they put a big giant N on this dude's head in the middle. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Simpleton. Entropy. Is this like the like? Uh, this is like the Legion of Doom, basically. Going to fail again. At least Uka Uka and I attempt to free us from this prison. I won't sit idly by and listen to your inane You can't not be a bad guy decade. with that facial hair. The Fu Manchu off the chin is like wild with like nothing on your lips. That's what I'm, there is. Yeah, that's no Fu Manchu. It's just like a chew. You it's know? like you're from Outworld, but you're just like a guy who runs like a tea shop. Yeah, you you have no you have no choice. You're a bad guy. Yeah. At least with what's his name, Cortex. Like the full Van Dyke, he's looking good. You could you you could have that on a good guy, like a Tony Cortex, Stark, right? Yeah, Cortex looks like a character actor who I would he see at like Astro Burger in, in on on Melrose. Wow. <laughs> he looks like his name's like Gary 
Gary Gold or something. I think they just Superman primed their way out of the Phantom Zone. I'll take it. A great power has awoken. Do you remember what happened with Superman? Yeah, after the new 52? Uh, he protected Metropolis. He came, there were two Supermans, and then they killed Superman because the fans didn't like him and brought the old one back. Quickly, we must go. Okay, wait, so this guy's like, no, 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 don't try and catch up. You were talking about Superman. Let's hear some more about Superman. I got nothing else to say about it. It was just crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yo, the graphics are nice. All right, here we are. Oh, yo. I thought I could play it. Like, I... You atomized it by moving fast next to it. Damn. Your body oh, turned... Oh, what? Spyro? Are they in the same world? Why does everything I want to interact with leave me? Because <laughs> you're Crash Bandicoot, dude. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing that I know about Crash Bandicoot, is that he goes... Whoa. <laughs> Maybe sometimes, yeah. I think he goes... Whoa. But then, like, they, bit, they like, bit crush it and, like, slow it down, but keep it the same pitch. Oh, well, we have to keep this for the rest of the game. Dude, that is me on vacation right there. Nacho hat, nacho hat, I've got a nacho hat. That thing looks like it weighs 28 pounds. Oh. Oh. Absolutely aggressive music. He plays his own video game. Dude, just like Pokemon. Oh! oh. Dude, yeah. I'm all caught up. Hey, and we got an achievement. Wow. Take that, completionist. Box time. Ready? Box time? Yeah. Okay, so you said get all the boxes earlier. Yeah, I mentioned that, like, you know, one of the challenges in these games is you can, like, go for a full box challenge. So you're, telling me, so you're telling me instead of, like, a coin or a ring, oh. Crash Bandicoot went with, like, like a dirty box? Like a... Like a, a crate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. What's up? They just like died. Like you like I don't dumb. know. No, die motherfucker, if you don't hey. If you look how diabolical this game is though, you see that? What? What is that? Oh my god. Yeah. Like this is jungle cruise. That's look, that is hiding boxes in like plain sight and like if you're diligent you'll find them. You know what I mean? Yeah. That is this game to a T. You know? So this is very, I mean, already looking at this, I'm like, this is a PlayStation 1 game with good graphics. Like, this yeah. is, like, clearly yeah. some old school shit right here. Which is very interesting to me. Okay, no, wait, what's the difference between a TNT crate? I love how blind you are. Okay, so that's like, so that's like a puzzle ah! piece. Like, you can, like, do, like, chain reactions to get all the, all the, all the Kind of sad, I feel like you should be doing this first level. Why? So that instead of like observing, you could be doing. Bro, and I'm a video game expert. I forgot. I'm picking, what am I, I'll pick what am I up. thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm a video game expert. There's not, there's not. Question of the day, try me. Mm, not even a question. That's how much of an expert he is. Yeah. Question of the day, try me, why don't you? Uh, there you go. Nice. Yeah. Picked it up. Oh shit. Shout out to the Sculptulous. Oh, is he like gonna. I see. I thought I could kill him, but he's just more of an obstruction. I love games that kind of feel like a ride. Okay. Like I feel like Nintendo's kind of getting to like this kind of theme park ride vibe with a lot of their with a lot of their games these days. Really felt it off Mario Kart 8, but I feel like Mario Odyssey kind of has it too. It's about time, y'all. It's about time the beer booth played a proper game. A proper game. Yeah. As opposed to, uh... S stupid shitty games like insert old game or insert new game. You know, as a video game expert, I'm very, very sad about people's, people's, uh, critical feelings on video games. Yeah, we can enjoy all the games, right? You can enjoy all the games and also, like, be a fucking student. Like, look at what's out there. Don't just, like, basically just, like, jack yourself off with games you like. Like, go... Except if you're a video game expert, because that's what makes you an expert. Eventually, you'll become an expert, but that's the long road, and it's sad and hard. Yeah. Feeling myself. Dude, What's up, this game baby? is beautiful. Look at that lighting. It really looks good. That is because I've recently tweaked... Uh, the settings on this TV. Also, how do you slide in this game? Also, this is ah. PS5 native. Like, this is this is the best of the best. 
There's no other play way to play video games where they look better than a PlayStation 5. Oh, can I have some of your kickback money, please? <laughs> awesome. I wish. I fucking wish I got kickback money from Big Sony. Where are you, Mark Cerny? Uh oh. I played Horizon Zero Dawn as a Let's Play. Where are you? Check this out. Yo. What? Well, Dude, you didn't know about that, Ted? Genuinely, no. genuinely made Ted's life just now. Ted said, no. Ted, Ted said, move that truck. <laughs> and he was like, oh. Ah, <laughs> forgot about these. Okay, wait, what's this now? These take you out of this game and make you play a better, proper game? Oh, it's like, like a, like a, like a post, like a goal post in Sonic, okay? Ah. Uh, like you just can come here and try and do this real quick, or Donkey Kong maybe, like maybe. The caves in Donkey Kong when the I'm, banana spiral comes. I'm not sure. Time to do some work. Oh, you just you throw a lot of references at me right now. And, you know. I'm telling you, it's hard. It's hard to keep up because I'm you know it's just I You're have such expert. a broad knowledge. Yes, yeah. it's, it's uh you can com yeah, you, like you can communicate completely in video game simile. That's right. You're like fucking dark. You are really <laughs> you are the closest person I've ever known. Who's like comes closest to that one dude in that Star Trek Next Generation episode? Fucking Darmok and Jalada Tanagra. What? I know. Exactly. Am I? That's how I feel. No. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting kind of spooked. This game is so interesting. You tell me why. I, tell me why. It's like. It's like Hook, right? I didn't watch Hook till I was like, yep, like, like a lot older than most people who saw Hook. Got it. Okay. Still loved it, right? Like charmed okay. by it. But I don't have the like. Uh, it didn't raise me. Sure, I get it. And but you uh, come to it later in life, but you can still appreciate why people like it. Yeah, and I can see things in this game that <clears throat> are like hallmarks of this game being from the '90s and having like such a '90s PlayStation One vibe. Like, all right, then give me one example. Just like the music quality being like. The Lion King Sega Genesis game, like, uh, uh, like just the the way things are shaped and the art style is like. I think the music feels that way because like, I I, I think he's always been like some sort of island boy. He's always been yeah. like an island. Boy. He's like a good Gex. He's like is a better Gex supposed to be an island guy. No, he's just like a better fleshed out Gex. Like Gex is. Well, they well, just the went point with I'm making is Gex. that I think Crash has always been like an islander. Yeah. Cause he's a bandicoot, right? So he's from like what, Tasmania? I don't know where they're from. Yes! We got every box. Nice. Oh boy. Gems and skins. Oh, yeah, you get skins in this game. So-called perfectionist? Fuck off. You shouldn't want to get sued by us. <laughs> Insanely perfect run. I forget what? what those are. What the hell is Mother Clucker, bro? That is the name of the suit that we're going to put on. Oh. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah. I don't understand. He wears costumes? You can if you want. I see. Yeah, also the Saturday morning cartoon vibe on this. Like, I know there's lots of games that feel like cartoons, but the cutscene with the villains and stuff, it feels yeah. specifically like cartoons from, like, UPN in, like, on Sunday morning in, on like, in like, 2004. If they weren't, like, high-quality CGI, yeah, I exactly. would totally agree with yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it feels like something where you'd be like, oh man, did you grow up with Did you ever watch Crash Bandicoot back in the day? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I remember that. <laughs> don't don't start. We can't <laughs> mm -mm. We can't live through that again. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, can't wait to bop a crash. Hubba, can't wait to bop his ass. Do you think he can hear it? Do you think he can hear the like little groove going? I thought you meant my song. Like Do you think he can hear you, dude? You think there's a microphone on the controller and that he has AI to process Alex, it? Alex, are you okay? Do you think he can... Do you think he's real, dude? Like, do you think that every time you turn it off, you're killing someone? <laughs> every time I, you turn off the game, are you killing Crash? I went to a comedy show the other day, and uh, the comedian was oh. talking about she had a haircut, and it's like, you know, you always gotta, like, kind of, like, figure out common ground with the, with the hairstylist so you can, like, talk to them a little bit. Oh, sure, chit chat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and uh, the uh, the hairstylist said that sometimes she thinks Harry Potter is scary. Scary Potter. And the the comedian was like, I didn't know. I caught me off guard because it's so weird. Because to me, like Harry Potter is not scary. Right. Uh, and uh, like the character or the movie, just like the, the movies. Got it. And she was like, but before I could like. 
I could like, you know, navigate away from it, I heard myself say out loud, oh my god, me too. Because, and I started to say because, and I didn't know what I was going to say, and so I just started thinking about it, and I said, because sometimes I think it's real? Oh my god. <laughs> and she just like doubled down on it, and uh, the hairstylist was like, Harry Potter is not real. <laughs> that is some real auto, like, auto autonomic behavior. It's like that social anxiety where you're just, like, trapped in wanting to, like, not make a social faux pas. Yeah, fuck that noise. This Do you remember what tight. I did the other day? What? Where, like, I started to tell a story or a joke, and I realized that, like, it wasn't going to be funny, so I just quit. Yeah. yeah I, respect, I respect the hell out of that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, y'all got to... Mm, don't fucking double down. You were saying something about this area? This just looks... Now, now we're, like, in the game. It, it, it looks like this is not a training level anymore. Okay, so the yeah. TNT ones count. Yes. And they're kind of like a puzzle element where you kind of sometimes have to figure it out. Sometimes. To make, like, some kind of chain reaction. Maybe. Or maybe you can, like, close off a path that, you know, like, make a bad choice and ruin it. What? <laughs> like, you know, like, maybe like if you don't hit the exploding one at the right time, you might, like, make it impossible for you to get all the crates in one run, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Or, you know, like, you maybe accidentally took... Is that a cheat code? Yeah, what is going on? It oh. says to get the diamond, you go right, right, up, up, left, yeah, left, down, it right. it does start there. So bottom left, right, right, uh, it just goes around in a circle. Right, right, up, up, left, left, down, right. It's literally a circle. Yeah. We can do this, huh? So you just go around it once. Okay. And then to the middle. But I kind of want to get the boxes too, is that too much? No, that's Crash. All right, let's do it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. If I get the box, can I like hit the box and... Can you just okay, spin? There it is. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's the play. Ooh. I'm good. Oh, my God. You were standing on nothing for a second. Did you get the diamond? No. Well, what the fuck? Let's check it again. Right, right. Up, up. Left, left. I probably right. have to touch the platforms. Of every single one. I yeah. think so. Let's get the diamond first, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Or as they're called in this universe, the gems. Gems. A thing that has no business being in as many video games as it is. Mm. It's so funny. Hey! <gasps> so listen. Whoa! I may not be the smartest guy! Uh... <laughs> also... <laughs> is this the end of the level? No, I can't. That was the last line of, like, a big band song that started, like, five seconds before the power went out in the building. <laughs> no, the cops raided. Yeah. I may not be the smartest guy. Raise the police! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Now we're free to do whatever. Huh? But we have to get all the boxes then, right? Yeah. Like, oh, my God. I keep missing. Are you feeling the impulse? Are you feeling the, the completionist? You know, I'm not feeling. I mean, are you like? It's not so much like I gotta do it all. It's more that like it's the first fucking one. Uh, no, it's just like it's there. It looks, it's fun. You know what I mean? That honestly, huge, huge lesson. As a video game expert, I think that's a great takeaway. <laughs> if it's fun, do it. Yeah. Welcome like, to my I life. Think, I think video games these days are so big that they give us a lot of anxiety. I think you're right, and I like it, it's hard for me to relate to that. Like, it feels shitty to even like consider it because it's like I don't want no fucking software to control my shit. Like people say it all the time, like I get nervous, I get anxious, and I'm like, motherfucker, how? You know? But like you're like you're right. Like I hear it all the time. I can totally, I get it. Right? Like this game, right? So easy to like just play because you know what direction you need to go. Every time you play, you're gonna go hmm. do this. But a game like Horizon, for example, you could see my anxiety just trying to decide what the fuck to do. We're very different, but like, I, yeah, like I saw it firsthand. Oh, he's nerd. Oh, oh. One ghost is afraid of another ghost. Ah, uh, here we go. This, so this is the shit that you were like confused by. This this doesn't make any sense. Like, how the fuck you like actually? Oh, oh. did you see that? Yo, 
I okay. almost didn't see it. So for me, for me, this looks better because there's so much more foreground. Like they kind of like tweaked it a little bit. Did they? In my, in my. Are feeling, you sure you're not just like? No, I very well could be my like 15 year old memory, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But oh, the, there's more. Okay. It felt like a bad way to do 3D gaming when I was playing. But this seems okay. Well, it seems the same to me. And again, it is prettier. I it seems like the camera is like 30 feet farther back. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. We. Am I getting these boxes? It always makes me wonder when I play this game. I'm like, I wonder if I missed a box. Oh, right there. I missed one. Is he going to take care of it? I think he, he got it. Here, that's so 71. Is that a thing? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got it. Oh. So what are you going to worry about? I, I guess moving my uh, little bandicoot ass. Oh! Holy shit! Oh, he killed it. Great. What Those rocks one? fell so close. He was like Bradley with the ice cube. I'm, I'm sorry. You know about that? Please explain Bradley with the ice cube. You know Bradley loves uh, Pokemon Go. Yeah. Right? So he was at down at Santa Monica Pier one time, walking like down, like actually on the actual pier, like out in the ocean a little bit. And he had his headphones on. He was just having a good time. And then everybody around him started like looking at him and reacting to him. And he looked to the side, and like a big chunk of ice from an airplane, like fell next to him, would have duffed him. How big? Like as big as my thigh, like as big as my oh, pelvis. Shit. Like, as big as my pelvis. What is the ice? Was it like like shit? off a ring? Like off a? I'm not a ring. Sorry, off a wing. Whoa! Crash! Who is that? Lonnie Loli? If the quantum mask has returned, hey Aku, how's it going? Oh, he's the nervous one. Guys, do you relate to him? Question today: Do you relate to him as, as people with like social anxiety? Do you relate to this guy? Uh, this guy right here. This guy feels like if like do you have social anxiety. Uh, yeah. For oh, sure. oh, okay. For sure, I do. In specific, in specific areas. Like when I go to a party and someone whips out a gun and puts that gun in my head, I get a little anxious. No, like, like when I have like a life problem, for example, uh, that I'm dealing with and it's not, it's making me less than, than perfect how I want to be. I, I often don't let myself hang out with people till I fix it. Huh. Engine is such a bad one. Embryo? Embryo? Come on. Right, yeah, fine, Joel. Have fun with your Rhaegar. Azure, <laughs> Dude, the fucking Hanna Barbera sound effects library. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> what is? How do you even make that sound? <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. It's kind of interesting seeing this like history of Crash villains all mashed together. Like they all, they each went from like being. Big baddies to being jobbers, basically. Like stupid ass guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, we made it to the main menu. Okay, so what's what's the dimensions mean? Now? Uh, you know, fucking new stages, bro. Is it like, oh, th am I supposed to recognize this? Like, is it like, oh, this is from Crash Two? No, not like that. But there are like common themes. Like the next one we're going to is like, they're throughout time, right? So if we went here. Okay, so it's just a theme. It's not yeah. really like about the games. Twenty eighty four. Yeah, this is like Mad Max, and you know. Hell yes. Oh, well, looking forward to our future, everybody. Hell yes. See you guys next time on Cranch, Brandicrant. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye. Later, man.